Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zillow Tech, and with today's announcement from Microsoft of multitasking and some new things coming to the developer version of Windows Phone 7 in May for an upcoming update later on, I thought I would cover my top five apps that I use on Windows Phone 7. I have an iPhone 4 that I use regularly, and the iPhone 4 uh, is great. I've used an iPhone for years, but sometimes it's nice to change it up and use something new. So let's go ahead and turn on the Samsung Focus, and we'll start with the top apps. Let's zoom in here a little bit. Yep. There we go. And let's cover the top apps. So the top app I've been using lately, other than the People Hub, which is kind of a connection to Facebook, is Bees for Twitter. There are other Twitter applications. There's also faster Twitter applications, but I kind of like the animations with this one. Uh, it's very fluid. You'll see here. And I can't wait until multitasking comes, so this just opens, because this takes a while. So there's the new ones. You've got your mentions, messages, those sort of things. It's a free app, and I think it does a pretty good job. Now, if you're using a Windows Phone 7 device and have a better Twitter app that you use, I have used MoTweets, uh, the default Twitter app. Let me know what you use and, and why you like it in the comments below. The next app I use a lot is Weather. It's a live tile. It updates. It's a chilly 45 here in New York. Tech News Now I use. And this is where I get all of my streams, or, or feeds rather, from news going on during the day. There's settings for all sorts of different sites, but here I have Ars Technica, Engadget, Gizmodo, Lifehacker, and so on. You have Featured News and all news and I do like the app and it's free so I can't complain so that's pretty much it there's just the feeds for today current let's go home the next app I use is Bible uh, it's the same version as its U version that's on iPhone Blackberry uh, Android you name it it's on there pretty self-explanatory but it has a ton of versions it's pretty good and it's free the first app that I've paid for on Windows Phone 7, and the only app I've paid for so far that hasn't been free, is Bringcast. Bringcast does have a trial, and it's a podcasting app. I listen to podcasts a lot on my phones, so uh, Google's Listen on Android, the iPod or iTunes Marketplace on Apple or iPhone, and Bringcast on this. You can use Zune Player to listen to them, but you have to sync. This one allows you to go ahead and grab those feeds and download them directly to the phone. Here I have Mac Break Weekly, This Week in Tech, Windows Weekly, and my own Zolotech video podcast, which has videos like this in it. You can download them by tapping and holding, and it will download, it will grab the feed, it's just warning you about data charges, and it will contact the server, pull the feed in, and that's about it. I use eBay all the time because I do like to sell things on eBay. And it's well integrated into the phone. There's your watching and that sort of thing. eBay is eBay. Netflix. Love Netflix. Watch every, you know, I do watch a lot of things on Netflix. I'm a subscriber. It's, it's good stuff. Now, there are a couple other apps that I want to mention. Office has OneNote, which is a nice note-taking application, and PageOnce contacts, uh, basically, or connects with all of your your bills and, and bank accounts, and it's really nice for that. There are other things I have that I have tried. I've tried a lot of different apps, but if you have some that you use that you see that I haven't listed here, uh, please, please let me know, because the marketplace search isn't that great right now, and I may not have seen it. Please let me know what you think uh, of those apps and if you've used any and which ones you find are the best Twitter apps because there are quite a bit of Twitter apps or quite a few Twitter apps out there. Uh, if you have any other suggestions, though, for Windows Phone 7 or any thoughts on it, please feel free to comment below. Subscribe if you haven't already. This is Aaron. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.